Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. Vlog. So, we have made it to Aintree Motor Circuit. It's definitely a different track from what we were used to. Very Cozy. cold. Up north. North. At north. But, um, we've currently uh, taken two parking spaces. Uh, and, yeah, we're the most ready we've been in a while. But, I don't know if that necessarily means we're going to do better than we've done in a while. So, uh, I guess we'll know more after practice. See if the car's happy or not. We are doing a track walk. Uh, this is specifically very important for this track uh, for a few obvious reasons. None. One of them being there is literal grass everywhere. Um, this is also a functioning golf course, foot golf course. So there's just grass everywhere, like trimmings. Um, and beyond that, also, the track surface isn't great. Letting Jason get familiar with it before he attempts the impossible. Um, it's a beautiful morning though, and uh, why not have a track walk anyway? Vlog. I'm currently putting the numbers onto the roundels because our fancy number stickers did not stick. Uh, so we've defaulted back to the classic green power roundels. Um, I've already added some artistic flair to one of them. Um, yeah, continue with the others, hopefully with less artistic flair. So welcome to pre-race prep. Uh, got, just got to tape up the car really. Um, it looks very, very interesting. So, currently in practice and uh, we've got gearing up and it is currently going faster than the fastest car on track, so that makes us the fastest car on track, but anyway. Um, and we're currently seeing exactly what we want to see, speed improvement, but we don't know how much current we're using, so we will find out shortly and um, make a decision on what gearing we're using. So uh, we are here with we did, we did Bristol a, Racing. We, we, hello guys, say hello to our vlog. Hello. Uh, hello. They have no idea that it's going to be published, but anyway. <laughs> uh, uh, so we've we just done some strategy calls, had a chat with uh, John from Team Bird yeah, as well. Really, really uh, just yeah. getting some input from him as well because we've never they raced here. Um, and we've currently decided. I think we're going to stay with our gear ratio that we have um, in, the hope, in the hope that we can use electronics to get us a little bit faster uh, and hopefully not too much cost of current so but we we haven't run a full, full race with a battery set with this electronics so we don't know what the effective capacity of our batteries is so we don't know if we'll make it to the end basically um, Are you sure about that? We will find out. We are currently undergoing pre-race stress. We found that one of Ben's connectors has, has broken. Wriggled loose. Everything was wriggling loose. Yeah, we uh, we found that one of the uprights had also wriggled loose. Um, hopefully nothing else wriggles loose. Okay. Well, I guess Ben's fixed his cable now, so hopefully... Yeah. Uh, hopefully everything else goes well. The most annoying thing ever has happened and um, we've had a, a connection come loose in the car. Um, it's a connection to the board. Um, yeah, it's just it's a non-locking nut, so that's yeah, for a good reason. But at the same time, as it's a non-locking nut, it can round itself loose, and it has. Yeah. And it's just because of the so bumpy um, around this track. So. Um, yeah, no words really, because it's just such a needless problem. Nothing's wrong with the car. It's just connections come loose. So, so basically, uh, preemptive thing. Uh, we de-threaded a thing on our Ajax, Ajax, Ajax board. 
so what uh, on the negative terminal, so basically that put us out of the race. But we were given permission to go for a fastest lap around Aintree, so we are currently prepping the car to go very, very fast and very, very quick. because it attracts attention. Uh, so yeah, we are just being chilling. Maybe all the boys are in yeah. chilling. Enjoying. Simply, sim simply, simply suffering. Um, just commiserating in McDonald's right now. But uh, we will be back stronger than ever, I'm sure. <laughs> Welcome to day one of Casa Coombe. It is Friday and um, we've had a bit of a day off yesterday and we're a bit disheartened to say the least by entry and following the travesty at Dunsfold as well. So that was, we, we pretty much hit rock bottom um, on entry. But we're back and we're going to try again for the final time. Um, this isn't one of those videos where the, you have guaranteed redemption, like Rocky or something, but um, <laughs> we're going to give it a try. Um, yeah, we're going to slap some, we'll, uh, some music over the top. Yeah, so there will be some music, good. definitely, on this other. Uh, but, um, yeah, there's one car that is clearly very, very fast right now, and we don't know if we have the speed in this car to beat that car. Um, but we're going to change the tyres to Kenders. Because um, we have a good feeling that they will perform better A in the wet and B they just have a lower current draw for the same voltage. Um, the tyre data was a bit confusing, so but we're, we're going on a hunch there and just doing general setup really, um, getting it, getting every bolt and nut tight with thread lock. Hopefully, <laughs> we'll update you on that one. But, uh, yeah, so we'll update you as we go through that day. Vlog. So uh, I'm just fixing up the little disc on the back right. I'm sure you saw in an earlier clip that uh, the wheel disc was rubbing on the bodywork, and so I'm just sanding down the bodywork a bit. It's still um, it is still rubbing, but it's better, so I'm just going at it a bit more. So um, vlog time again. Um, a bit of time has passed. What's what's been happening, Anton? Well, we've got the majority of the setup done. Uh, we've tracked the wheels again, and we're decently happy with where it's at. Um, we've just had a uh, chain tensioner device arrive, and so we're now just testing it up. We don't know how, mu how much benefit it's going to have, but I guess that's why we're testing it out now, to see if it helps us. So, interesting situation we've just come across. Um, the board is designed to have uh, a fan control section. Now the fan control section is similar to the drive section and in the drive section we invert the output signal. Uh, and so do we in the fan. So that means that when the car turns on, the fan turns off. So uh, at entry, we didn't have a fan the whole time. Uh, it, would t it would literally turn on when the car was on, so we'd think it was on, but then we'd accelerate and it would gradually turn off. So, um, I mean, think about that one overnight. It's nice to know now, uh, before the motor gets too hot at Castle Coon. So, welcome to day two of Castle Coon. Uh, we're currently in the Coalescence Media Centre, where we've brought the boys. The boys are officially here. You're not going to pan? No. No? Just no, me? Play into the room. <laughs> <laughs> we are joined by Catherine. And Day Law. Yeah, part of coalescence. And Joel is making a rare appearance. I am. Ow! It goes round and round. Stop making that much noise. Anyway, basically, what we've been doing today is I have been editing my photos, making sure they're out on the website. Lucy's been editing the vlog as per, and you guys have been messing around with the car. Adjusting each other. Cut to messing with car. The tension. Uh, we've just literally been messing with chain tensioning, car modes, making sure the voltage limiting is 
actually limiting to the right voltage because funnily enough it wasn't. Yeah, so. that's when you put like the right code on. I, I don't know why I'm doing this because I've only been back for like uh, half an hour. And uh, so, no, 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 vlog. Everyone else is being useless and standing there in the rain. Um, please pack up the car. <laughs> I am now packing up the car because Jason got annoyed at everyone for uh, just watching the cars. Um, I guess the car's sorted. We're now packing it because Jason made us pack it. Um, you will pack it. We will pack it. So will pack it. There is no, we there will is no cut the vlog box. now and actually pack the car. Vlog, uh, these two gentlemen have lost all the ability in their legs. Huh? Vlog, we're in Henry's, uh, enjoying a nice meal the night before Castle Coon. Uh, I've had one plate, Bongo's had another plate. Is, Bongo's hungry. Yeah, Bongo's how hungry. <laughs> <laughs> we, are, we are being joined by PSCM and Renishaw. Team Bird decided that working on their car was more important. Unbelievable. Yeah, it can't be us. Yeah, it yeah. should be us. <laughs> Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Vlog, we've currently just arrived uh, The car went to Wales temporarily but it's Oh we didn't, here. it went to Birmingham <laughs> <laughs> uh, So the car went to Birmingham but it's here now we're trying to get it ready very quickly because the queue is for scrutineering is going to get very long very quickly. So we're just hurrying up very quickly. Yeah. Vlog. Vlog. We're currently oh, yeah, taping up Jason <laughs> uh, because of the weather. So I'm just making him a bit more aerodynamic because the bin bag isn't particularly aerodynamic. Jason, you lift the hand. We have branding as well. Take yeah, yeah. So he is the car. <laughs> Vlog. So we've just discovered that with the Kenders, uh, the Kenders are a bit bigger. Bigger in diameter. And so because of that, the tyres are rubbing on the wheel fairing. So Joel is kind of just uh, here away the wheel fairing with a pair of scissors. Uh, other than that, I guess we're good to go. Uh, I don't know what the run plan for practice is, but Joel and Ben know better than I do. So yeah, we'll see you at the end of practice. <laughs> Our first practice run. Um, we did have a little pit stop in between to fix the top shell back on because it was coming off. But otherwise, fastest lap, then some really slow laps. But overall, the car is happy. Chain's not falling off yet. Touch wood somewhere. Um, but otherwise, we're quite happy at the moment. Not to jinx anything, but. Uh, we're going to change a ratio now just to get some more data to see if we are actually on the right ratio. Uh, we love data here at Miller. Uh, we are it? data enjoyers. Change the batteries. Yeah. Change the batteries so we get a proper voltage. Give us as much data as we can. To give us the most informed choice we can for our race run. So we've just had a look at the data that's come out of the car, and on a on a on a full throttle lap. Uh, which was the fastest lap of practice. Uh, it's, uh, we're drawing just enough, like just a little underneath what we can draw. Um, so that's good. So we're going up a ratio in the hopes that we can just pull it back a bit. Yes. Um, in the hopes that we can just draw it back a little bit and do the same laps, but just use it. We don't know yet. We'll find out. Um, but. So good, so far so good. Vlog, so practice is over. We uh, we did change the sprocket halfway through. What we've uh, what conclusions we've made out of that, I have no idea. So uh, we'll, it's best to ask Ben and Joel. But uh, yeah, the car's running well. It looks pretty smooth. It looks pretty quick. Worryingly quick. Um, I hope we've instilled fear into all of our enemies. Um, so we can strike them down in the race. But yeah, see you for race prep. Who took the bomb?
there's a theme here with these uh, post-race interviews. We and keep putting the L in coalescence. Yeah. <laughs> and um, what has happened is the car has not broken, the electronics have not broken. We have simply run out of battery. As to why we've run out of battery, we don't know. However, we have our suspicions as to, number one, the weather. Number two, too high of a gear for that weather. Three, um, the battery just didn't Maybe it's just bizarre. Yeah, it's bizarre. So, um, I haven't done too well. We might have come third, might come fourth. I think, uh, I think we're third. I think we might be third. We crossed the line in third, but on back count, it could be fourth. Um, but yeah. Oh well. Um, we're on each year. Win some, you lose some. Win some, you lose. Well, in our case, uh, <laughs> you just lose them all. <laughs> you lose them all. Vlog. So, it's the end of Castle Coon. End of the week. We came third. Not where we wanted to be. We uh, unfortunately lost second on the uh, final lap because we just absolutely clipped. Uh, I think the conclusion that we've drawn is that the gear ratio was too low for practice, but practice was dry, and we far underestimated the effects of the weather. Um, and so I guess here we are now. It's unfortunate that the championship is now over. Uh, we can't contend for it, but this stuff happens. There's always still next season. So we're going to come back stronger and absolutely destroy everyone. Yeah, see you guys soon. Hey log! So it's the end of the race. We've just been post race through today. That's every team. So the, uh, the class report is exactly how to bat out mirror mirror team. So he's going to have a word with Do us, not. but Joel is going to protest that very heavily. Other than that, we found that the car is not particularly. <laughs> it's good at. The car is quite good at gathering water, but not really. It's getting rid of it. Uh, yeah, it's puddled in there. Same on this side, inside the cockpit as well. And under the uh, electronics box as well a bit. So that's excellent. Which but luckily, puddled. nothing fried itself. So we're still chilling, kind of. Yeah. So um, I believe we're coming into the final part of Castle Coon. Just, oh my goodness. The amount of rain has been absolutely ridiculous. So, I mean, I'm dried out a little bit now but I can confirm that earlier I was very very soggy. So we have a little stream that's running through the paddock. It is absolutely soaking, isn't that right Anton? It is absolutely soaking. Isn't that right Joel? <laughs> photos must take priority. Um, and yeah. So this is it. Anything to add boys? Can you use a microfiber cloth instead? Evidently not. So guys, so I'm just going to stop myself there and take over because as you can see I look shattered and I don't do a great job of being concise at all. So firstly, what did we learn? Well, we went to Donsfold and we learned to tighten everything. Then we went to Aintream and learned to actually check that you tightened everything. And then at Kaskin, once we had tightened everything, we suddenly learned that rain is seriously bad for performance. So quite a learning curve and probably one of the most challenging weeks of doing green power and that's saying something since i've been doing it for nine years so spoiler alert good wood it's a much better experience for us and we're really proud of how that that went i don't know if we're going to release a video about that anytime soon we'll keep you in the loop about that one otherwise thank you for watching thank you for a great 2023 season and see you in 2024